Hi, how are you? Is anybody living over here across the street? Yes, ma'am. It's, it's an older lady. Yeah, she's going to stay in the house. We were thinking about mowing her grass for a tree. Okay. All right. Um, I guess we'll go try her and see if she is. We just wanted to make sure somebody lived there. Yes, ma'am. Before yeah, we went over no, there. Definitely. She keeps her car in the garage all the time. Okay. So. All right. Well, thank you. Hi. Rocky. Hi. <laughs> Rocky, come here, buddy. You guys can say hi. I would love to pass. There's spider with eggs in there. Somebody. Oh, hey. Um we go around once a week and we look for overgrown lawns like this and we mow them for free. For free? Yeah. Wow. Can you come to the door and talk to us or? Uh, I can't really hear it. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I've been in an accident and I can barely move it. Okay, well, is it okay if we mow your grass? Oh, I truly appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Is there any way that she could come to the door? She said no. Said she's been in an accident and she can't come to the door. Oh. Okay, well, thank you. We'll get some. You're welcome. Yes, you too. Mm hmm. Oh. She was in tears. Yeah? Yeah, she was saying thank you so much and. Um, that she's been in an accident and she can't come to the door and she was in tears crying because we said we was going to mow her grass for free and um, told us to have a good holiday. Really? Yeah. Well, let's take a look around, yeah. I guess, and see. Yep. Look at this. I don't even know where to begin with this. We'll figure it out though. Yeah. Have no idea where to begin with that. You know what they say about the backyard. <laughs> but actually what it looks like is the worst is this spot right here. I'm not sure if we can actually get all of that down. I have to, you know, assess and see what There's all the- There's a kitty cat back here. I see you. It's running. I want to say it again. It looks like it'd be pretty easy. The backyard doesn't look so bad. Yeah, the backyard don't look too bad. But the backyard looks like it's about twice as big as the front yard. Yes. Here's some kind of hole. What do you think this is? I think it's a gopher hole. It looks like a gopher hole. A lot of limbs and stuff down around here. Yeah. Clothesline. Well, awesome. I get to help someone else out. Uh, in this community, in the neighborhood. Yep. Let's get started. Yep.
Oh, it's hot out here already. What do you think? That's why I'm sitting in the truck. <laughs> Got really hot, just cutting that one thing down. She, she has no shade whatsoever here. That's what I was about to say. She's got no shade in this yard. Whew, it's gonna be a hot one. Yes, it is. <laughs> It's a lot better than it was, but it needs it needs to keep getting mowed because this shit gathers up and it and just you can't fucking you know you worry about snakes, you worry about everything. Yeah, well, I mean, regardless of anyone's situation, we we appreciate having the opportunity to be able to come out and mow. Yeah, I know free. that. I, you know, but you know, she needs somebody to come to here and mow it whenever it needs to be mowed. Yeah. And not let it grow up like this. Yeah. Because if she did, it would look nice, and all the other yards would look nice. And we know ours. My brother-in-law and me live here now. My sister died in 21. My nephew just died Labor Day weekend. That was stage four cancer. Oh, I'm sorry. And it's it's hell for not having them around for the holidays. I can tell you. Yeah. Well, the good thing about having this mode My where... nephew is only 49 years of age. Really? And shit, he, he used to get on the mode when he had a rider. Yeah. But then my brother-in-law got a zero turn, and it takes 45 minutes to an hour to move this whole damn yard. Well, like like I said, it, we, we it like... It will look good. It will look good. What's your name? Uh, Casey. Casey, mine's Mike. Mike. I, I'd just like to see it mowed. To make it look good, I I come out with if I had a push mower. When I first started, I had a push mower. I used to mow this motherfucker front end back, and she goes, "Mike, you're gonna kill yourself." Well, you can't get out and mow you. I'm gonna get you back. Let you go back to work. Cause I know you gotta get back to work on this. Stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, thank you for stopping by and chatting. No, I just, you know, I, I'm tired of looking at it, and so are the neighbors. Yeah. Well, you know, it'd be it'd be a shock to see this all mowed down and it's cleaned up. Yeah, that it definitely will be, and like I said, we're happy for the opportunity to be able to do I, it. I, think and I, I know she's sick, but so is everybody else. I mean, I didn't, I, you know, I didn't want my nephew to die either. You can say lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. Definitely got snakes living in here. Got some snake skin. The snake skin? Yeah.
it dropped some of it off right there over on this side The, uh, the neighbor over here, uh -huh. he said that they were worried about the snakes that were in here. I guess he's had some snakes and stuff come over to their yard from out of here. Well, she definitely got them. <laughs> there it goes. I don't know if I got it, but I picked up, I seen when I was over here uh, pulling the weeds and weed eating and stuff, I seen a big uh, roach. The, the stinky ones, the ones if you smush them, they stink. Yeah. Um, I picked up all those weeds and put them in the back of the truck. And when I turned around, it was crawling up my arm. And this wasn't recording at the time. <laughs> Plus, Ew. it was in back of me. <laughs> that was in back of me. And I was like, ah! And I got it off. And I tried to record it. I don't know if I got it or not. I, it ran under the truck and I was trying to follow it. But I don't know if I got it or not. But it was one of them stinky ones. The ones that it was like this big and dark. Did you smell it? No, it didn't make it. It didn't have a smell. It didn't. It didn't let off any odor. So I guess I didn't scare it that much. <laughs> <laughs> it's on your neck. <laughs> There's something on your neck. Is there? Now it's right here. Down. By, it's like going in your shirt. I it's think it had, it had eight legs. <laughs> oh God. <laughs>
thank you. As he rode by. Yeah. are the things that I said needs to stay uh -huh. it's, it's too thick this is way too thick we don't have stuff for that to cut this down it we would be here for days trying to get this cut but look in there something's living in there what something's living down in there it's it's matted down where they've been laying there's... oh it's matted down I was going to say there's, not, there's nothing there, but yeah, there's something definitely that's been sleeping there. What do you think? Like a deer or... It could be... If, well, if we get any ticks, we'll know. No. No? <laughs> ticks? Yeah. Deers bring ticks. Yeah. So, um... Raccoons, possums, um... Uh, Yogi? <laughs> Yogi the bear, yep. Um, <laughs> could even be snakes. You don't know. I mean, I mean, if it was snakes, it'd probably maybe still be there, but maybe but i also want to show you this come down it's a beehive so it makes me wonder oh, what's crawling on me is there something crawling on me no oh maybe it was sweat <laughs> <laughs> it felt like something crawling <laughs> um yeah there's beehive that's a pretty big size beehive there would it be and yeah, I know. I seen a bee come out as soon as I said that too. So I'm wondering. He's there's probably you. beehives in here. Okay. Oh look, look. There's there, what? No, no, no. I didn't do this. No, no. I, I'm, there's bees flying around. There, there's your home. <laughs> Leave that. <laughs> I'm gonna say not to mess with this right here. I'm just cutting some of the trees down that's overgrown. That's on the outside where we can mow. You know, maybe around this area. But some of this we're not gonna be able to get.
These are very convenient electric pruning shears. Watch how easy it is to cut down these weeds here with the electric pruning shears. If you like the way they work, check out our description. There will be a link in there to the product.
Long day? Yes. Been here, I don't know, about five hours, I think. It's been a while. This one was really overgrown. Yeah. It seems like the smaller the yards are, though, the more difficult they are. It does, because they, when you look at it, you see it's overgrown. If it's smaller, then there's a lot of stuff in that yard. Yeah. No joke, there he is. Holy hell! It's a yard! Holy shit! It's a yard! We're done. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> Thank you all for staying around to the end. We absolutely appreciate it. Guess what time it is? Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving from us, my mother Trish, and myself to you, all of you wonderful viewers and subscribers. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm.